Hey everybody. So this is day three in the garden video series that I've started just now. Uh, just a reminder, this whole video series is to try and help me make a better garden. Um, for the most part, that means I want it to actually be productive. Sure, I would like it to look nice, but right now that's not my main agenda. Um, today, we're going to be working on putting these uh, lumber beds that are in the back here into the ground, placing them um, how they need to be, and then moving the dirt into them, and then hopefully also putting the seeds that are gonna go into there. We're gonna have lettuce in one and beets in another, um, and some herbs maybe growing around those till he's barking at something. Not sure what, okay. All right, so one thing I did wanna share with you guys uh, right now, there is growing, I'm excited. Right here, there is a bell pepper. It's a little bitty one right now, but it's the first one for me <laughs> for this season. So I'm super excited about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and look at these plants real quick. This is something I'd like to do. When I first jump into the garden in the morning, I am feeling better today than I was yesterday. I've recuperated from that beach day that I had with Corey. And so um, I'm just gonna look at everything. Still have this weird thing going on with this tomato. Did not yet get a chance to look that up. So I'll do that as soon as possible. Um, I have my water here. And I can see it. Gonna be drinking plenty of water today. I'll probably have to go get a refill. Looks like I have a new bloom here on this tomato plant. Uh, something I learned along the way somewhere, if you wanna kinda help pollinate your tomatoes, you kinda bounce them around like this. It kinda helps move that pollen down. If you have plenty of pollinators though, it shouldn't be a problem. For me, it seems like it's kind of hit and miss. One thing I like to do is look under these tomato leaves and see if I see any bugs, any little worms, any little, any little monsters that we need to get rid of. Um, right now, I'm not seeing anything, not seeing any evidence of anything. Um, some of these leaves maybe need to be trimmed because they might be pulling energy from producing the fruit. Uh, we have our one, two, three, four little tomatoes back there. We have one, two, three, four tomatoes here. That's eight total tomatoes and one bell pepper so far. I'm pretty excited about that. These bell peppers look like they might be getting some blooms on them right there. That would be awesome if they also grow some peppers. So yesterday what we did is over here the, where the watermelon patch is, our little bitty watermelon patch, or at least it's little now, what might happen is we have space that way they can grow and space this way they can grow. It's pretty shady out that way though. So I don't know, we're just going to have to see what we can do with these watermelons. I have this in place. It's holding steady right now. In fact, as I water it and it gets, you know, muddy and, and it, it may stick better is what I'm trying to say here um, as this gets watered. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yesterday, I also put this black paper down here to kill any remaining weeds that might be trying to pop up in this herb garden. And our next important order of business for today is right here, these two boxes. This is what I want to set in the ground, and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a few moments. And then, of course, put the dirt in them and get the seeds in them. So just give me a few minutes to get set up with all that, and then I'll be back to do that with you. All right, so I'm back and you can see that these two beds are a little too close to each other. I wouldn't be able to walk in between those. So I'm going to start by separating those. This one over here is where it needs to be. It really can't go any further um, that way. And then this one over here is, is the one I'm gonna, gonna push over a little bit. So I'm going to put on my gloves and start working on that. So to move this one this way, there's this big mound that's in my way. I know you probably can't see it on camera. I had at one point an avocado tree growing there. It was great. We had a super cold couple of weeks this past winter and I was an idiot and didn't come out here and protect my avocado tree and it died. So I'm going to have to dig that little mound up first and then I can move this one this way. And I'm going to use my larger shovel for that. Alright, so I'm 
I just digging up this mound here to get it out of the way. I'm just gonna have to pump the dirt somewhere. I don't really want to throw it growing up through my garden. If it did, I'd be actually psyched. All right, so I'm gonna leave that like it is. We'll be putting paper over it once I get this moved over anyhow. All right, so I think I'm ready to move this bed over here and they look kind of big, but they're really not, sorry, I'm out of breath. Whew, all that hauling that dirt back and forth. It's not terribly hot right now. It's about 9.45 in the morning. So it's not too bad. I guess I'm just a little out of shape. I need to go back to my one hour workouts every morning that I used to do. So I'm gonna move this over here. You see that's not so bad to move. It's not terribly, terribly difficult. There we go. It's a little better. Would like a little bit more space, but I also have to leave space over this way. And I know you can't see it on that camera there. So I'm gonna shift this just a wee bit so you can see what I'm looking at. Over there, uh, that way where I'm pointing where you see the trellis that I built on that first day. I need to leave space for myself to walk between that and then I need to have enough space between these two here. So that's what I'm working on right now is just making sure my spacing is correct. Um, you can probably see from here, uh, I have the pea gravel. That is something that I am doing because I like the aesthetics of that. And so hopefully when I have all my beds set in place and everything up and running and then I have pea gravel going on all the walkways, it'll be really pretty. have room to walk here and I have just enough space to walk here maybe a little tight let me see if I can move this bed over any at all just a wee bit it looks like I can move it so this hose was really handy yesterday if you saw that I'm gonna have to keep it safe from Tilly though oh my Tilly you found a ball you want me to throw it bring it here you want me to, you don't want me to throw I mean, if you bring it to me, I'll throw it. You gotta drop it. Good girl. All right, you ready? You ready? Go get it, Tilly. All right, so let me put this hose somewhere where it's safe from Tilly, and I'll move this. All right. So for right now, I just put the hose on top of the compost bin. Uh, it's up where Tilly can't see it. It's a raised compost bin that my husband built for me. So this bed, I'm going to move this way ever so slightly just to give myself a little bit more funny foot room over here. Foot room. Foot room and booty room over here. That's what I'm going to need. All right. So that's pretty good uh, as far as this spacing is concerned. Now, something that I know you might not can see on camera is that this one especially uh, goes up at an angle here. That side is higher than this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut a hole in the black paper, black paper all around each of the posts that are here. And then what I do is I take my small shovel and I dig out the dirt there so that that end over there can lower down. And I'll dig out some here as well. I just won't have to dig out as much. Um, I'll just need to make sure that I get it to where this down here is all touching the ground. Uh, so that when I go to put the dirt in it, the dirt stays in it, doesn't even you know, fall off the bottom. All right, Tilly, here we go. There's my scissors. There they are. So, as with anything else, I try to put my scissors in the same place every time. Same thing for the shovel that I'm going to need in a second, a little small trowel that I'll leave out here. That just helps me keep up with these. So, I'm going to start by cutting the squares out here. Hey, Tilly, come on. Hey, peek, peek. You want me to throw it? Okay. You ready? All right, so the black paper is pretty easy to cut. I'm gonna take off the gloves for this because I need a little bit more dexterity. I have to keep an eye on them. Hope that Tilly doesn't go after them. You back here, Tilly? Where is it? Bring it to me. Bring it closer. Good girl. All right, so that one you can see. It's, I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can't. I'll bring it closer and I'll show you what I'm doing here with this. So 
Sorry, I'm gonna go sideways there. Hold up, Sally, just a sec. All right, so right here, you can see where I've cut around here. And that black paper I will remove. But first, I'm just gonna cut all four of these and then all four of the ones on this planter over here as well. And then I'll come around and remove this cutout and then dig in the dirt as much as I need to, to where this comes down and hits the ground and to where the whole thing is eventually level. Because this one, remember, on this end is higher. Okay. All right, Tilly, where's that ball? You even got a glove. What was I thinking? Tilly, come. Come on, baby. I'll trade you. Come here. Come here, Tilly. Tilly, come. Tilly, come. Come on now, bring me that glove. I'm going to put it in my pocket. Now I know why. I know why all we see gardeners with gloves in their pockets. Because they have puppies who steal them. Come on. Come on, Tilly. Oh, she's such a good girl. Come on. Come on. Tilly. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're so good. Come on. Come on. Oh, Tilly, come on. Come on now. Be a good girl. Tilly. Tilly, come. I don't want to take you. Tilly, please come. Tilly, come. Good girl. Good girl. You want some eye? Oh, look at her laying down. Oh, oh, where is she? No, don't run off. Tilly, look, look, look. You want some ice? You want some ice? Here you go. Ice. Ice. Come on, Tilly. Come on, Tilly. She loves ice. I guess we all do on a hot Mississippi day. Don't we? All right, yes. Let's play with that ball. Let's play with that ball. Go get it. Go. All right, gloves going in pockets so that that little puppy hopefully does not come and steal them from me. We can only hope, right? All right, so back to cutting out the squares here. I have all the squares cut out now and I need to grab my smaller shovel and I'll just go around and lift and dig until it's uh, set like it needs to be set and then we can start putting this dirt in here well actually what I'll do before I put the dirt in here once I get them set in place I am going to put a liner of black paper in them um, just to keep the dirt from seeping out any cracks here and um, my husband did a great job constructing these so they're really tight but just in case you know sometimes wood swells and moves around as it gets wet and dries out. So I will have a liner in there for that and then be putting the dirt in. Hey, sweetie. All right, so I wanna use my gloves because I will be digging in the dirt and I do prefer to use my gloves when I do that. I'm still missing the pinky hole. <laughs> I'll get some new gloves eventually right now. Not worried about it, I'm okay. And so what I'm gonna do first, I wanna start on this end up here because this is where I need to definitely drop it down so that uh, it's level. So all I have to do right now Let's push this over like this. And it is easy to bring back up. I think they look a little more, I mean, they are substantial, don't get me wrong. Very sturdy business we got here, but they just look so big, but they're not quite that hard to move around. All right, you can stay over there. All right, I'm gonna start by digging up here moving this. In fact, on this one, I didn't think about it, but I really need to dig all of this across the way. Now, the reason I cut out the holes before dumping this over, just in case you're wondering, when I do that, I see where I want my feet to be. Remember, I got them in place where I wanted them first, and then I cut out the holes, and so in the black paper, I can see in the hole where I want them to be, uh, you know, where the feet have to go. On this one, I have to cut out a little bit more black paper, but I can still see where the feet want to go because I have it pumped over in just the right place here. So that'll help me. And this line is still on the same plane as the, the holes. So it's fine. All right. 
So this dirt, I'm just gonna chunk over this way. Not as much as what I had to dig up before. I know you probably can't see it on camera. Let's see if I can adjust it so you can see what I'm doing here to level this out. Yeah, you can't see that. In just a sec, guys. All right, so I decided just to take the camera off its little stand there and just show you here what I'm doing. And then I'll put the camera back. But right here is where I have to dig down a little deeper so that this box will be level on, you know, from one side to the other. This box over here looks pretty level, so I won't have to worry too much with that. But we'll see when we get there. All right, so I'm going to put my camera back up where it goes and then just keep working from there and come back on and talk when it's time. goes. If it's not quite right, I can always keep digging. Or if it's too far down, I can add dirt back. not far enough at least for the post star that's where I need to dig the most now so let me chuck it back over here okay dig up some more there this side almost where it needs to be you can still see some light coming through there I'm gonna dig just a little bit more here and then if there's still a slight bit of a crack there this one's a little bit too big of a gap but if I get to where I only have a smaller gap about half that gap then I can use some of this dirt here to kind of fill around it use all this wonderful mulch that my husband bought for me um, around that he didn't actually buy it he got it for free and that awesome which is amazing uh, what can sometimes happen you just get lucky sometimes um and then now what's happening is that this end is lower than that end and that is of course because i have to go and dig the holes for those posts over there so i'll come back on and when i'm done with both this box and that box setting them in place i'll come back on and then we'll put the dirt in okay there's my gloves digging it kept sounding like I was hitting something other than roots. What do you think that is? Is it an antler? Part of one, yeah. Part of an antler? You think Boudreaux came and buried it here at some point? Maybe. I bet it was Boudreaux. Should we bury it with Boudreaux? No, we're not gonna dig it. We're not gonna bury it with Boudreaux? I'm not gonna dig him up. I wouldn't mean in digging up Boudreaux. I meant just put it with him. Or do you want to just give it to Tilly? She might like it. Yeah, just pass it on to Tilly. You gonna pass it on to Tilly? Alright, let's show the people. Alright guys, so we found this antler. I was digging. We had an old beagle named Boudreau. Mama, I bet the other part's down there. Um, Corey's gonna see if he sees the other part down in there. Um, but this is a deer antler and Boudreau was notorious for finding places to <laughs> bury uh, his treasures. Um, there's all kinds of business buried all over this place, I'm sure. So uh, he passed away just a few months ago and uh, we miss him, of course, still. But this is kind of fun to find something that was probably Boudreau's that he buried. Let's see if Tilly likes it. Tilly? Jeez, Tilly? You want an antler? Out. Come here, Tilly. Tilly, come. Come. Come in the garden, Tilly. Come here. She sees it in her hand. Come here. Come, here. come get it. Tilly, come. 
Do you want me to throw it? Sure. You want me to throw it? Do you think you can find it? Here, you need to smell it. You need to smell it. Smell it. Okay, now, let's go. You ready? Go find it. Ooh, I think she found it. Okay, y'all. Just wanted to show you that. I'm going to turn this film off until I'm done with all this business here. And then we'll uh, get the dirt in here and then put some seeds in. All right, so I just want to show you guys real quick. I'm not done yet. Take longer than expected. This bed has been more difficult than the other two to put in because it was not even. What I ended up doing is taking that black paper off. And it's still not quite right. This end is still a little higher. So um, I've already dug the holes over there in that end. That's all I need to do is put some more dirt in there. And then what I'm going to do to make this a little easier on myself is I'm going to take some of this wonderful mulch that hubby got for me and uh, infill it so that this is all level and there's no gaps at the bottom. So hopefully that will work. Uh, if I start to see where, you know, maybe some of the, the mulch is washing out at some point later on down the road, then I can always just put it back. It's not that hard and I have plenty of it. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey, Chili. Hey, Chili. <laughs> so again, I'm just showing you what I'm doing here real quick. I have the bark in place for the most part. And I realized as I was putting it there that once we put the dirt and here we're going to line it with this black paper and then pile dirt on top of that and the weight of that dirt will hold the inside layer of bark in place and so then all i have to worry about is making sure the outside layer of bark doesn't have a washout so that's something i'll just have to keep an eye on this side should be pretty good there is a a board underneath the bark that's kind of helping to hold it in place there so it's this side i might have to do something about such as put a board there so we'll see how that goes but this bed for now i'm done with I'm going to move on to getting this one down set. It's already pretty level, so I don't think I have to worry about that as much as I did with this one. So I'll get this one down in the ground, and then, I know I keep saying this, but then hopefully we can get that dirt in there, and even more hopefully get those seeds in the ground. Hey everybody, I'm taking a break from those boxes for a second. I'm just getting really hot. I'm probably going to go inside in a minute, but before I do, I'm going to show you this behind me here. This is Boudreaux's grave. Uh, we planted an azalea and that azalea just happened to have a pecan tree and a little live oak sapling in there. So when he died a few months ago, he was 13 years old and we buried him here, put the azalea there. And then we also set up uh, this little, this just little tree trunk so we can come sit out here and hang out with him every once in a while. So for a minute here, I think that's what I'm going to do is hang out with Boudreaux, tell him we found his antler. And then I'll probably go inside for a minute and the air conditioning cool off a little bit before I go back to working on that last box. Hi everyone. We had a nice break, cooled off. Definitely feel much better now after being in the AC for a little bit. Corey's helping out by lining this box for me before we add some dirt to it. And while he's working on that, I'm going to dig the holes under the other post. Unless Corey, would you like to dig the holes and me line it or are you good? I'm good. You're good. All right. So he's going to keep working on lining that. Corey, what you might have to do, you might have to use another um, piece. He, he reused some of it in the bottom there. So let me show you, Corey, what might help. I go um, across this way. I know. Well, but... you can use another piece. You can do a, a side. You can line this side with this piece. You see what I'm saying? And then another piece you can use to line that side. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. If you get hot, Corey, remember I brought you water. Be sure to get it, okay? Right? Corey's real big about making sure Lawrence and I always drink water. All right, guys, we'll come back when we have a little bit more done okay, with y'all. So as with, seems like, every other job I've done in this garden, <laughs> um, the beds, putting these two beds in place is not going exactly as planned. And here's why. I'm pretty sure my hubby made these legs on these beds much longer than what he did on those other ones that I already have set in place. On those other two over there, I used my small shovel, only had to take out like two scoops of dirt and bam, they went in like, like butter. It was no problem at all. So these though, you saw the trouble I went through with this one. And this one, I'm ended up almost with the same trouble. I'm digging and digging and digging and digging. And I'm digging about as far as my small shovel will go. Even try to use this longer shovel. And it's just only so much I can dig down um, in this dirt here. 
Hi everybody. All right, so this has been an hours long project. What I thought would take maybe 10 minutes max to get these boxes set in. I've been out here since 945. It's after 12, probably almost one o'clock now. Maybe even after one o'clock. It's just too hot oh, to work. Sorry. <laughs> it's just too hot to work any further in the sun. So before I put the dirt in there, we're gonna take a nice long cool down and let this atmosphere out here cool down a little bit. I don't know exactly what the temperature is. I think I think I need to get a thermometer in my garden here. But we've come a long way. The boxes are set in the ground. Corey helped me dig those holes deeper. Lawrence showed up at the end. It helped a little bit too with the post hole digger. And I, we got the black paper in there. And so now it's just time for a break. So I'll see you guys later. Alright, so I'm back. It's now about six o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, when I went in, it was 1.25 in the afternoon. It was very, very hot. So I decided just to let that sun go ahead and get a little bit further down over there. And then I would come back out here and do some things in this garden. The last thing I have want to do today is to put that dirt in here. So what I'm going to do is use this big, big shovel that's now in the hey Tilly this big shovel that is now in the <laughs> hold on somebody I'll get it for you this big shovel that is in the trailer there I'm going to take that and the plan is scoop the dirt into the wheelbarrow and then haul it over here and then dump it into the bin so I'll be working on that and I'll turn the video back on when I have something done all right Tilly I'm coming hi again everybody so pretty much done. I was just going to do one short video of me moving the wheelbarrow around so you can see what all that involved hauling that dirt. Uh, the one thing you won't see me doing is you won't see me moving the dirt from the trailer into the wheelbarrow because that's behind the camera here. Uh, but then once I get into the garden here, you'll see me hauling it around that way. I have to go the long way around because it wouldn't fit between the cantaloupes and the tomatoes here without uh, possibly disrupting the cantaloupe seeds that are there go all the way around and then I dump it into the bed over here so I'll do that real quick and then we'll get a shot of what the beds look like with their dirt in them and probably absolutely calling it a day it's been a it's been a long day <laughs> but I made it all right so I'll see you again in just a sec
All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera over there so that you can see what that dirt looks like in the bins from like closer up. <clears throat> if it was not so late in the day and it was not so hot today, if I had more energy at this point, <laughs> I would go ahead and cut off the edges of this black paper here so it's not all leaning over, but I can take care of that either tomorrow or the next day, um, whenever I can get out here again, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Um, so here's how these boxes look now, all right? You can remember yesterday they were standing up out of the ground and <laughs> uh, today we had a whole lot of trouble getting them in the ground, but they are in the ground. It's a big step in the right direction for this garden. So next step will be to cut off that excess paper around there, get some seeds in these. Uh, we're gonna do lettuce in one, beets in the other. And then also I have a little bit more pea gravel I'm gonna spread out around here. Um, probably though, we'll honestly have to pick up even more pea gravel to fill in all the places I want it to fill. Um, herb garden, not ready to go yet. I think I am gonna have to make that homemade weed killer mixture. I was looking at it today and I just see lots of little sprouts coming up. So I'm just gonna have to blast those with that vinegar, whatever mixture. Um, watermelon garden over there is, uh, it's there. <laughs> um, it probably could log some better soil. I plan on doing the compost smoothie for the watermelon seeds as well. And then putting some more, uh, the topsoil, the soil conditioner, what this stuff is in those. I have a little bit more dirt left in the trailer that we can use for that. But at this point, that trailer has been there for close to a week. So we really want to get that trailer uh, off the grass right there before it starts killing the grass. Um, over here, I was going to show you guys something real quick, and it's that there are some little seeds that are popping up, not cantaloupe seeds. These are some little weeds that are popping up, but because I know that that is not where I planted my cantaloupes, <laughs> then I know I need to go ahead and just pull those up like that and then just get rid of those. So I'll be working on that today, tomorrow, whenever. And that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Again, thanks for all your help just being there watching because I don't think, I don't think the progress that I made today, I should say we, because Corey did help substantially. I don't think that progress would have happened if I hadn't have known that I was making this video series. So thank you again for all of your help and I'll see you again soon.